You are welcome, sir. Thank you, Pastor. I welcome everyone tonight in Jesus' name. Powerful transformation in your life. Say amen now. Because you know we're carrying our amen from Cameroon to the rest of the world. Let's pray. Father, we bless your name. You love your people in Cameroon. Everyone in Cameroon. Everyone in every country. Your love will flow to everyone tonight in Jesus' name. Touch your people. Transform your people. Heal your people. Deliver your people. That the voices of your redeemed will continue to glorify you. Thank you, Lord, because we know it's done. In Jesus' name we pray. God, God has blessed you already. You can sit down. Tonight, the Lord wants to wipe away your tears. He wants to take away your sorrow. Let me show you. Look at Luke chapter 7 verse 13. Luke 7 verse 13. And when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her and said unto her, Weep not. The Lord said unto her, Weep not. Don't weep anymore. It will save your soul. It will remove all the pains in your heart, in your life. It will bless your family. It will heal your sickness. Weep not. Christ has come to dry all the tears on your face. What happened? A mother that had only child. This only one child died. And they put her in the coffin. They were carrying the coffin away. They were going to bury that child. They were going to bury her joy. They were going to bury the throb of her heart. They were going to bury the future provider for her. No, no husband, no heritage, no inheritance. Everything was in this child. And they were going to bury a hope. A life was going to be hopeless. Then she met Christ. The day you meet Christ. Tonight as you meet Christ. Your buried hope will come alive. Your buried destiny will come alive. And your buried aspiration, ambition, what you will be. Everything will come alive tonight. No helper, the helper is dead. No hope, no ambition, dead. I invite you tonight, come to Christ and he tells you, weep not. Look at verse 14. And verse 14, and he came and touched the bear, the coffin. The career of the dead child that the beard of the coven, Jesus touched that. 
The announcer of a hopelessness, Christ touched that. And he came and touched the bear. And they that bear, bear him stood still. Everything was stand still. All the people that are running to you and running after you, telling you bad news, bad news, they stand still tonight. And he said, Young man, I say unto thee, Arise. Arise. I come to tell you tonight, you will arise. From your sin, you will arise. From your bondage, you will arise. From every hope that is lost, you will arise. Look at verse 15. In verse 15, and he said, He that was dead sat up and began to speak. And he delivered him to his mother. And by the action of Christ, that mother would no more weep. By the action of the Lord in your life tonight, no more weeping. Delivered him to the mother. Delivered hope back to the mother delivered happiness back to the mother delivered the joy of her life back to the mother the lord comes to present to you tonight the joy of your life the hope of your life the happiness of your life it comes to present to you tonight the breadwinner of your life. We're looking at the message tonight, a short, powerful transformation through the divine touch. Assured, no doubt. Powerful, no weakness. Transformation from death unto life through the divine touch. I'm happy to let you know that you are destined for divine touch tonight. You cannot miss it. Touch from heaven. Touch of salvation. Touch of healing. Touch of deliverance. Assured and powerful. I'm going to talk about one, two, three. After that, your touch is guaranteed. Number one, accepting decree transformation through the divine touch. Accept. Christ came and he told the people carrying the coffin, stay, stand. They accepted. He, he stretched forth his sign to touch that beer. They brush off a hand, his son. They accepted that divine touch. When you accept, it says stand over there. Stand still there. Don't go from there. The mighty hand of the Lord wants to touch you. I accept. Accepting decree transformation through the divine touch. Number two, avoiding the devil's touch after the divine touch. You 
You see, Satan, the devil also touches people. Tu vois, Satan, le diable touche également les gens. The people who go to him. Ceux qui vont vers lui. The people who submit to him. Ceux qui se à lui. He also touches them. Il les touche aussi. But you know, the devil Donc, is opposite to Christ. Vous voyez, le diable est aux Christ has the touch of life. Christ a la touche de la vie. Satan has the touch of death. Satan a la touche de la mort. Christ has the touch of salvation. Christ a la touche du salut. The devil has the touch of sinfulness. Le diable a la touche de la Christ has the touch of healing. The devil has the touch of sickness. Christ has the touch of freedom. The devil has the touch of captivity and bondage. After the Lord has touched you, you want to avoid the devil's touch after the divine touch. Number three, arising with decisive triumph by the divine touch. Look at number one. Number one, accepting the decree transformation through the divine touch. When Christ touches you, there is a decree of transformation. You cannot be touched by that divine touch and remain the same. Tonight, your life will be different. From sin, you are going to move to salvation. From weakness, you are going to move to strength. From sorrow, you are going to move to happiness and joy. Once you submit yourself to Christ, and He touches you, He touches your heart, He touches your tongue, He touches your eyes, He touches your life, He touches everything within and without. That touch makes you a different person tonight in Jesus' name. In Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 6. Then said I am Lord God. Behold, I cannot speak for I am a child. Uh, look at that word there. Cannot. Cannot. Because I am a child. I cannot stand. Because I'm crippled. I cannot live right. Because I'm unrighteous. I cannot speak well. Because I have impairment. I cannot rise because something ties me down. I cannot. Think about your life tonight. And think about everywhere in your life that word cannot come seen. I cannot. I cannot rise. I cannot do anything. Did you hear the testimony of our beloved brother there? All the members of the family, in generations, they never learned, they, they could never learn. But Christ touched his life. He said, Papa, I'm going to school. Papa said, You cannot. Jesus said, you can. And then he went to school. He got the first certificate. Papa, look at what I got. I want to go again higher. Papa said, you cannot. 
generations in our family for second third fourth generation they cannot you cannot under a curse because of that i cannot tonight i can tonight you can Papa was a drunkard. He passed that on to the child. And the child now comes. Can you live a sober life? Can you be free from alcohol? Papa said, you cannot. I say, you can. Tonight, you will be free. Tobacco, taba, was the food of the family. And now you want to be free. Papa said, you cannot. You cannot be free from the taba. You can. You can. Papa might not have been free, but tonight the divine decree is upon you. You will be free tonight. Yeah. You remember in the family, Papa married one wife, second wife, third wife, fourth wife. Before he died, five, five women. And now you are growing up. You've got number one woman. Somebody comes to tell you. The will of God. One man, one wife. You said, I cannot. Because that disease of polygamy is from generation to generation. Tonight you can. Life will change tonight. The family had been kind of captive to wine. Strong drink. And you have seen the effect of strong drink in the family. They drink, they get drunk. They are there in the gutter. They say what they shouldn't say. They announce publicly in their drunkenness where their money is. And, you know, no, no respect, their shame, degradation from generation to generation. And now you are growing up. You see, that's what we are being from generation to generation. And you say, I can not. I tell you, you can. I can. I can. The Lord will touch you tonight. Every impossibility in your life will be turned around. It will be possible. Look at verse 7. In verse 7, but the Lord said, Unto me, say not, I am a child. Say not, I am inexperienced. Say not, I am incurable. Say not, it's impossible. Everything you have carried from the time of Adam until the time of your great grandfather, your grandfather, and your father. Everything will be cancelled tonight. Yeah. For thou shalt go to all that I want, I will send thee. And whatsoever I command, thou shalt speak. Look at verse 8. In verse 8, be not afraid of their faces. You are, are you kind of glued to a herbalist? And that herbalist has said, you keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. 
and you attach to an idol and the idol worshiper said you keep coming keep coming keep coming and now you hear the commandment of the lord separate from all those idols and you said i cannot if i do they will kill me if i do they will curse me if i do they will destroy my life be not afraid are you there? be not afraid a touch is coming tonight in your life in jesus name All the decrees of the idol worshippers against your life will be scattered tonight. Be not afraid of their faces. For I am with thee to deliver thee, says the Lord. Look at verse 9. This is for you. This is for me. This is for you. The decree transformation through the divine touch. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. Tonight, the Lord is putting forth his hand. He's touching your mouth. He's touching your tongue. He's touching your lips. He's touching your heart. He's touching your soul. And there will be a transformation in your life tonight in Jesus' name. And the Lord said unto me, unto me, unto me, Say it unto me. Finished. Sin finished. Sickness finished. All the pain finished. Paralysis finished. Once you know, once you accept, once you believe, once you confess, the Lord said unto me. The Lord said unto who? Say it now. The Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. See verse 12. In verse 12, Then said the Lord unto me, That was seen well. For I will hasten my word to perform it. The word will run fast in your life. Salvation will run fast into your life. Healing will run fast into your life. I will hasten my word to perform it. Brother, Frère, sister, sir, friend, ami, salvation has come for you. Yeah. Running after you. Yeah. Looking for you. And you will hasten that salvation to happen to you tonight in Jesus' name. Yeah. You receive the divine touch. Salvation comes. Healing comes. Strength comes. Deliverance comes. Dominion comes. Because you receive the divine touch. Tonight, who is having the divine touch? Amen. I believe you are the one. Look at number two here now. Avoiding the devil's touch after the divine touch when God touches you 
your life becomes brighter when God touches you your salvation gives you unending joy when Christ touches you he provides for all your needs he blesses you all around that's why I'm happy to be with you here in Cameroon even me even me reading the word to you on the ground of Duala Cameroon I'm going to have more blessings than I ever had in my life and you accept him you believe him you confess him blessing has come upon your life multiplication of blessing because you have accepted the divine touch now the devil is going to be jealous it's going to be envious God said Satan have you seen my servant Job there's no man like him on the face of the earth he had received the divine touch and the divine transformation and the divine protection and Satan, yes, said, yes, I know. Have you not blessed him beyond everybody? He was jealous. And you have set a hedge around him. You have protected him. I wanted to touch him the other day. I couldn't break through the hedge because of your protection. He said, stretch forth thine hand. Touch all that he has. You see, is that in the Bible? Touch, touch, touch. Everything that he has. When you have time, you read Job chapter 1 verse 11. Job was telling God, I wanted to touch him, I could not. Allow me to touch him. Why don't you look at that now? Job chapter 1 verse 11. It says, put forth your hand now. And touch all that he has. And he will cause you to thy face. You see, the devil wanted to touch him. And God said, I won't touch him. You want to touch him? Touch everything that he has. But spare his life. How happy the devil was. Because of his jealousy and because of his envy. He will not touch you. He will not touch you. But God said, touch him. Touch everything that he has. Satan was so happy. He went to his farm. Touched that farm. Fire burnt everything. He went to his servants. Touched those servants. Everything destroyed. And then in chapter 2, God said, Satan, you said the man will curse me if I touch him now you have touched everything that he has and the man bowed down and he worshipped the Lord Job proved the devil a liar I will prove the devil a liar you will prove the devil a liar he said, you will curse God. 
you will not curse God. He said, all the sin that surrounds you protected. He said, everything will be destroyed. No, the devil is a liar. In chapter 2, here comes the devil again, Satan. And God says, Satan, Satan, have you seen Job, my servant? Look at what you did. And he will not cause me. Uh, Satan said, skin for skin and bone for bone. Touch his bone and touch his flesh, and I'm sure he will curse you to your face. Look at chapter 2, verse 5. In chapter 2 of Job, verse 5. And again, Job was going to prove the devil a liar. Anybody there tonight? That will prove the devil a liar. He said, liar will be a liar in your life. He said, you will curse God. I say, it's a liar. You will not curse God. He said, you will not be saved. I said, Satan, you are a liar. This, my friend, and this, my son, my daughter, tonight, you will be saved. He said, the curse is running in the family, and you will not escape from the curse. I said, Satan, you are a liar. This person here that came today, and Christ is going to give the divine touch, curse is cancelled from his life. So in Job chapter 2 verse 5, but put forth thine hand and touch his bone and his flesh and it will curse you to thy face. But Job, did he curse God? I said, did he curse God? Will you curse God? Will you run away from God? Will you run away from the divine touch tonight? As Job proves Satan a liar, you will prove Satan a liar. That's why how he went to Eve and uh, said, why don't you eat this? And he said, God said, we must not eat, we must not touch. But you know, Eve surrendered to the devil. You are stronger than that. You are saved. You are born again. You will not surrender to the suggestion of the devil. Anything that will make the hand of the devil to grab you and to say, now you are my captive. I touch you. I catch you. The Lord, by grace, by his power, will take it away from your life in Jesus' name. Tonight, we come for the divine touch. We're on the way from Satan. We reject his suggestion because he's looking for a way to touch us after receiving the divine touch. He will not touch you. Sickness will not touch you. In fact, insanity will not touch you. All the curse of the world will not touch you. If they have touched you already, tonight you'll be free. Because touch from on high will come upon your life. Look at number three here. 
Number three, a rising with decisive triumph by the divine touch. Remember what the Lord has told you. Weep not. Because this sickness is not unto death. Weep not. Because every pain you see now, the divine touch will come upon your life, you will arise. I will arise. And they carried that uh, only son of the widow out and were going to bury him. Jesus stopped them. The people who are going to bury your future tonight, the Lord stops them. They want to stop the happiness in your marriage, God stops them. They want to stop the joy of progress in your life, God stops them. And it says, weep not. Dry the tears away. Tonight will be a turning point in your life. Tonight you are going to arise with divine decisive triumph by the divine touch. Look at Acts chapter 3. We're looking at verse 6. Then Peter said, Silver and gold are by now. We're talking about what silver and gold cannot do. Silver and gold can buy a bed but cannot buy sleep. Silver and gold can buy a house but cannot provide a home. Silver and gold are buying none. Silver and gold can buy books but cannot buy brain. Silver and gold can buy food, but cannot transfer all the nutrients into all the nerves and the blood cells and every part of your body. Silver and gold have I none. No problem. I need more than silver and gold. Tonight, you need more than silver and gold. What silver and gold cannot do in your life, the torch of the Lord will do in your life. But such as I have, give I thee. Peter said, I have something to give. In all humility, I come here to you to tell you I have something to give you. I have the name of Jesus that will bring you salvation. And I give you that name tonight. I have the name of Jesus that will bring you healing. And I give you that tonight. I have the name of Jesus that will bring deliverance. And I give you that tonight. The name. Salvation. The name. Your healing. The name. Your forgiveness. Silver and gold have I none. But such as I have give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. The man had never walked since he was born. What you have never done since you were born, you will do here tonight. Look at verse 7. In verse 7, and he took him by the right hand. He 
touched him and lifted him up and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength that's the touch it will bring strength into your life that's the touch it will bring salvation into your life that's the touch it will bring triumph in your life tonight you are an overcomer because of the divine touch that comes upon your life and his ankle bones received strength there was no medical doctor there if a medical doctor had been there the medical doctor would have told everybody not to lace ankle bones you see the heart was weak in his condition because the heart had not been exercised for 40 years and the heart received strength you see all the joints the knee and the waist everything was weak the doctor would have told us the ankle and the knees and the waist and the backbone received strength if a psychologist had been there he would have told us the mind receives strength the mind that's always saying i cannot i cannot that mind arose and the mind received strength the brain you see the brain let me explain to you if you are walking on the grass and you walk the same path to and fro every day for many days you will create a path that that place you walk every time will dry up there'll be a clean clear path there because you have been walking there every time this man that had been in this condition for 40 years an idea had been walking through the brain for 40 years a path of impossibility i cannot walk i cannot rise that path had been in the brain And so every time, because that idea had been moving on in the brain a long time, I cannot get up, I cannot, I cannot. The moment divine touch came, that part in the brain was gone. That weakness in the mind was gone. That stiffness in the joint gone. And Peter gave him the right hand. Lifted him up. Tonight you are lifted up. You are lifted up. You are lifted up. Where you have been lying, you are lifted up. Where you have given up and given in and you have said this is my life and this is all i can be tonight you're lifted up and that neuro pass already in your brain that keeps you down every time divine touch comes upon you tonight impossibilities will become possible the incurable will become curable. The blind will see. The dumb will speak. And your life that has been ruined, a new life will come to you. 
Look at verse 8. In verse 8, and he leaping up stood and walked and entered with them into the temple. Walking and leaping and praising God. He was walking and leaping. He didn't run away. I'm, I'm going to tell mom this. He didn't run. I'm going to make my neighbor see this. No. He entered into the temple. He carried the miracle into the temple for a great testimony. Tonight, miracle coming upon you. And as you're walking and leaping, you'll come here to my, to your own right hand side. You'll be praising God. When your blind eyes open tonight, you'll not walk back, you'll walk forward. You will come here to your own right, you'll be praising God. When that weak heart, the hole in the heart, that when you walk five steps to a third, you have to see now when that heart tonight is healed and you have the strength and you are moving, you'll come out, you come to this right hand side of yours, you'll be praising God. It's your time. It's my time. Where are you? It's your time. You'll arise with decisive triumph by the divine touch. It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. The divine touch is coming for you tonight to forgive your sin. To give you salvation. To give you joy and excitement to live. Eternal life is coming to you tonight. The Lord has seen your condition of sinfulness. And he comes to touch you with the touch of salvation. Wherever you are. The Lord is looking for you. He wants to touch your heart. Transform your heart. You raise up the hand. Praise the Lord for those hands. Raise it up. Raise it up. You are the candidate for salvation tonight. Raise up that hand. And stand up. And say, Lord, I am here. He cancels one word out of your life. Cannot. 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 That is cancelled tonight. Cannot live right. That is cancelled tonight. Cannot have joy of salvation. That is cancelled tonight. Cannot be saved. I'm a terrible drunkard. Cannot is cancelled from your life tonight. I cannot walk upright. Because there is something in a brain that is wired there. I cannot. It's cancelled tonight in Jesus' name. You can. You can. I can. Say I can. Salvation has come. I can. You raise up the hand and you stand up. A transformation is taking place in your life. A change is taking place in your life. While you remain standing. We are going to pray together. Stand, raise up your hand. Online, please do that. Raise up your hand and stand. 
any congregation where you are all over the world. Raise up your hand and stand up. Forgiveness has been brought to you from heaven. We're praying now. Father, in Jesus' name. We thank you for this touch that comes tonight. Forgiveness that comes tonight. Salvation that comes tonight. Triumph that comes tonight. To everyone accepting your divine touch. Touch their hearts right now. Touch their mind right now. Touch the heart, the seeds of decision in their lives right now in Jesus' name. Forgive all the sins they have committed. Turn them in the right direction. Confirm the joy of salvation in every heart. The joy of forgiveness in every heart. And give them strength to stand for righteousness. Thank you, Lord. Everybody, thank you, Lord. It is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody say another good amen. Another Cameroon amen that will travel all over the world. Uh, moderating of us here tonight will come and help us during this time of counseling and after that remember I'm coming back because your healing your deliverance is guaranteed tonight you have a testimony waiting for you wait for that testimony Life. Ce soir, vous avez reçu le plus grand miracle de votre vie. The miracle of salvation. Let our counselors move straight away to where um, they are standing and attend to them. While others, we need to be praying for them. For this great miracle that has happened to them will be a permanent experience. Get their names down on the, on the paper and show that they write with block letters and uh, make sure that you have all their contact and get all the details. Get closer to them. And all those who have given themselves, be sincere as you give your names to the council. And tell us also of uh, the location where you come from. Make it explicit. And so that our brethren will get back to you. While we are having this at the Alpha location, we believe that even online, you need to go through uh, the various links in order to get uh, registered. Check it online, either through the social media, either on the television, on the internet. The address link is there. 
J'adresse le lien électronique est là, soit par la télévision, par les, les réseaux sociaux, par la radio. And in all the places where this program is holding across the globe, let's ensure that we handle the, uh, the, the people that gave their lives to Christ and get all their details. Those who gave their lives today, this is a very remarkable event. We just want to remind you that all those who have given their lives to Christ right from the beginning of this crusade and to this day tomorrow you have a special program at 3 p.m. Lunch hour with Christ. It will hold tomorrow behind this hall. Make sure you don't miss it. It's a time that God wants to increase more of your understanding uh, towards the Lord. God has started something beautifully today. You must retain that experience. And that is why it is important to be in that program. To receive the best and for your life to grow in leaves and bounds. There's another announcement too. All the converts will have a believer's banquet at the regional, uh, in all our regions. At our group centers, here in Cameroon, and uh, in designated locations. And that program we hold on Sunday, 2nd June this year. The time is 4 p.m. Let us endeavor that in all our locations, not only in the Alpha location, all over, let's ensure that this program uh, is kick-started in our place. Here in Douala, it will hold at the believers, I mean, uh, at, uh, it will hold at Chapel of Holiness. Ici à Douala, ça se tiendra à la chapelle de Sainteté. Ah, uh, that's uh, Ralph Bonaberry. À Bonaberry. That's where it's going to hold. C'est là où ça va se tenir. And those who are watching in line, online, Et ceux qui suivent en ligne, once again we want to remind you you've given your life to Christ. Une fois de plus, nous vous rappelons si vous avez donné votre vie à Christ. Click on the screen and uh, you will see the following link gckhq.org gckhq slash connect .org bar connect gckhq.org slash slash connect cjkhq.org bar connect you will fill that form vous allez remplir cette fiche and god will bless you in the name of jesus je vous bénira au nom de jésus counselors we are waiting for you les conseillers nous vous attendons to my left, center, and to my right. To my left there, yeah, if uh, you are true, let's see, just wave the banner at me.
Let's be fast about it. Yes, I can see at the center there, at the back. Yes, at the front. But, but, but at the other side, on my left hand side. On my right, yes, I can see that banner. God bless you. On the on my right. À droite. Wave your banner at me on my right over there. À droite ici, soulevez votre drapeau, s'il vous plaît. Amen. 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 We thank God already for, at this time. As we receive the, our miracle. Let's rise up on our feet. Amen. Amen. I receive. I receive. God loves you. You will not remain in that condition. He comes to you in his love. And he will heal your sick body. He will deliver you from every affliction and every attack. He has come here for you. I receive. I receive. You receive in Jesus' name. You lay your hand on where you have the challenge. And you raise up the other hand. And you know that at the end of the final amen, it confirms your miracle. We're going to pray now. Whatever your condition, the Lord is going to knock off the torch of Satan from your life. Yeah. And it's going to give you that divine torch that will bring healing and deliverance and dominion. Let's pray now. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We celebrate your love. We celebrate your power. We celebrate divine touch upon everyone now in Jesus' name. <clears throat> everyone to the right, to the left, to the center, to the back, everywhere. Everywhere at the Alpha location, everywhere online. Let the healing touch come in every life now in Jesus' name. Take all their pains away. Take all the sicknesses away. Wipe all their tears away. Insanity, come out in Jesus' name. Blind eyes be healed and see clearly in Jesus' name. Deaf ears be opened right now. Dumb tongues speak out in Jesus' name. That weak heart, that hole in the heart, it's mended, be healed in Jesus' name. Yeah. All the pains in your body, in your joints, come out in Jesus' name. Yeah. The water in the brain, the water in the lungs, the water in your belly be drained out now in Jesus' name. Yeah. 
all those weak nerves and weak muscles in your body be strengthened right now. Rise up and walk. Stretch forth that weak hand. Stand on those weak legs. That short leg grow out in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray you touch everyone. Cancer healed. Ulcer healed. Fibroid taken away. Every impossible impossibility become possible right now. Healing. Deliverance. Dominion. Triumph. By the divine touch in your life right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It is done. With joy, we receive our miracles. In Jesus' name, we pray. Your miracle is right there. Take up yourself. The healing is definite. 